His neighbors call him a hero for pulling two kids out of a burning home on January 4th. Tonight, Kelly Heidbrader introduces us to this Toledo mail carrier. Day in and day out, Wayne Swisher sorts mail, then he makes his rounds. He's a mailman. Now he's a hero, too. He saved two children from a burning home on the city's east side a couple weeks ago. He had just delivered the mail here on Vinyl Street when he noticed something. And when I was walking across the street, I noticed the window busted out and black smoke coming was so heavy that it didn't fly up in the air. It actually was coming down like this. Swisher knew the homeowner, Lori Green, had two boys, one eight, the other 13. And he also knew she wasn't home that afternoon. I'm in, and I just start banging on the house all the way up to the door to tell people and screaming, you know, there's a fire in the house. The younger boy came to the door, and he was suspicious at first. And then he was a little afraid, and then he recognized the uniform and everything. Right now, I, was, I told him I was his mailman. Uh, his brother came over. We took them both out of the house, got them out of here where it was safe. I think it's amazing that my postman ran into a burning building, and I'm telling you, there was smoke coming out of there. Some people think your mail is just someone that just drop your mail in the box and keep on walking, but they say Wayne does even more than that. He cares for them. If her mail piles up a little bit, Wayne knocks on the door and makes sure she's okay. If he sees things in the neighborhood that are a myth, he follows up on him. Toledo's acting postmaster handed him a special achievement award for coaxing them out of the house and getting them to safety. We hope that, you know, the circumstances won't present themselves, but if they do, uh, we hope that all of our people react as Wayne did. You know, this is just something you just don't train for. It's just instincts. Kelly Heidbrader, News 11. Congratulations. Swisher says the family didn't have insurance. They've lost almost everything. They have moved since the fire, and Swisher is now collecting clothing for them. Hopes to track them down again and help them out. Sounds like a hero to me. Mm -hmm. All right. Coming up here on News 11 at 5, Robert Shields is back, and he has the full.